started to graduate, I went to the career service at Edinburgh University and said that I did want to think of joining the BBC. And um, the careers office at Edinburgh said, well, you know, bearing in mind, this is 1976. Well, if you want to join the BBC, the only way as a woman to get into the BBC is to become a secretary. Now, the postgraduate secretarial course is very good at Strathclyde University, so we think you should do that. No, no, I don't want to be a secretary, thank you. I'm rubbish at that kind of stuff anyway. So anyway, but I went along, I applied, and I got in. And there was this induction day where they talked about us being young ladies, and if we were very lucky, we'd get into BBC and maybe the Foreign Office. And I thought, I don't want to do this. And a friend at St Andrews University had noticed on the notice board the graduate entry programme for the BBC, which for some reason the BBC only advertised it seemed to me at St Andrews University then. Anyway, I applied and I got in. Um, and so that was great. So I owe uh, Karen, my, my friend, uh, you know, a big debt because she got me into the BBC. Well, the challenges I encountered were about learning the craft and learning about journalism. I um, was very eager, incredibly keen uh, wanted to do lots of different things, so you know, I would do reports, I would do research, you know, I would do production, and I had terrific people who really mentored me in that uh, news and current affairs department when I joined, and that whole idea of being a support to other people to me has always been very, very important during my career because I was well treated by most people, uh, and I think that's very important to do that as well. Um, so I kind of reported, produced edited all these kind of things and I think I probably had that kind of wide-eyed innocence where you felt well just the world's my oyster I'm just gonna go for it. I think we shouldn't get hung up on going to university I think there are very many avenues um, further education colleges vocational training are hugely important apprenticeships have been undervalued in this country I mean you think you know if you go to Germany you know apprentices are like stars you know, we, we almost destroyed the apprenticeship system in this country. So I think there are lots of avenues. There's straight to work, there's being an entrepreneur, there's vacation, there's apprenticeships, and there's university. And I think people should just, you know, I think one of the problems is for, for many uh, people from the ages of 14 to 18, they genuinely don't know what's out there, and they genuinely don't know what they can achieve. And they have never sometimes had encouragement to achieve. And so I would say to young people, particularly in a recession, coming out of a recession, is be bold. You know, try lots of different things. You know, look around for pots of money. They're very, very small pots, pots and they're few and far between. But just, just push yourself to do things that you really, really enjoy. Don't feel you have to be funneled into one area. Don't feel that there are expectations of it that you have to meet. Meet your own expectations and make them high. I think, it's, I think it's really, really tough for the majority of young people making their way in the world just now. I think the uncertainty, the retrenchment in industry, the retrenchment um, in all sorts of different areas, you know, advertising, PR, you know, few jobs in journalism at the moment, I think it is very tough and I think it's hard to hang on there. I, what I would say to anybody at all is that we need to make sure that every single person in this country volunteers in some capacity, any capacity. I don't care what it is, just give of yourself, even for half an hour a week. You know, apart from anything else, you know, it makes you feel better. You know, let's do it for selfish reasons, but also it's good for the soul, and it's good just because we need a sense of community. And that community used to be delivered more through the church. The church was also a rather scolding place at times, but I think that sense of community we've lost, and I think, you know, if we're going forward, we really have to recreate that. So I would just say, do something for someone else each week. Mm -hmm.